Hi, it's Dr. Sandy Kramers, and I want to answer some questions today about Sequa versus Zydra versus Restasis. So these are the only three FDA-approved drops for dry eye, and basically they're all working in different ways to decrease inflammation on the cornea and conjunctival surface. The oldest of them is Restasis, and Restasis kind of comes in a container like this, like this, or like this, in these little packets. The issue with Restasis, which is cyclosporin, is that basically it can burn when it goes in, and it takes truly about three months to really kick in in terms of feeling an infect. Some patients can't tolerate that, so it can be a little bit of a downer. The positive is that it is cyclosporin. We've used cyclosporin for years in anti-inflammatory. They're non-preserved. They come in these little vials just like this. Another negative is that you, when you take this off, this top, you can't re-screw it on. And what I've told patients for years, all of us have, is that when you take it out and open it, you can put it in a plastic bag or in a sterile cup or a clean cup rather, uh, and then put that cup in a plastic bag or a Ziploc bag and keep it in the refrigerator. So we have used this for years with many patients saying they absolutely cannot live without it, but we have a lot of patients that say it burns too much and they can't take it. The second one to come out was Zydra. Zydra works in a different fashion as an LFA2 inhibitor. And basically it comes similarly in a packet like this. I think this is the only one I have. And we'll open it up so you can see it. Similarly, it looks like this. These little tubes here, and they are also non-preserved. They can really burn when they go in. So I tell patients to put Restasis or Zydra in the refrigerator because that might help a little bit. Um, they do sometimes have a metallic taste because the drop goes into the nose here. And so sometimes punctal plugs, uh, initially the FDA trials didn't look at punctal plugs, but punctal plugs for Restasis and Zydra and Sequa try to keep the tear in the eye longer so maybe it won't go into the nose and have that metallic taste with Zydra. These tips also are not um, recapable. And this, depending on your insurance, if it doesn't cover it, it can be between $600 and $800 a month. So it's very expensive. So that's another uh, downside, but it does work. I have a lot of patients that say they can't live without it and it works very well. I have a couple patients that said it didn't work when they first tried it and then they tried some other things and then they went back and it worked and made them feel better. So that's another thing that um, both Restasis and Zydra have heard from patients before. The third option is Sequa, and I have a sample of Sequa here. Let me find it here. And this is what it looks like. There's different types of packaging. It comes in these sterile containers here. The positive of Sequa, and this is going to patients, so I'm not destroying this. When it comes like this, but some of the Sequa are recapable apparently, and I haven't seen it yet from the uh, from what I've seen, but they generally come like this. These are generally working at a stronger percentage of cyclosporin, 0.09% it is, so it's, it's the strongest cyclosporin out there. It works in 28 days as opposed to three months. So this is very similar to Restasis, it's just a stronger cyclosporin. This is apparently cheaper than Restasis in some platforms of insurance. I've had some patients say it's still very expensive. Some say it's about $5, you know, for one month supply, but it depends on your insurance. So it can be very variable. These also can burn when they go in. They do not generally have a metallic taste. Uh, some people are allergic to Sequa, Restasis, Zydra. So if insurance doesn't cover it or a patient has a negative side effect to Zydra, which is what we prescribed first, We'll then try Sequa or Restasis, and it depends a little bit on insurance which order will go. But most people don't want to wait three months to feel an improvement. So, but I've had a lot of patients saying they're allergic to this, uh, so it, it just depends. But they all work. So that's just so information. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.